and I will uh, use it here and I will click on apply so it was uh, 5.68 before applying so now it is uh, reduced by 0. Assalamualaikum uh, my name is Muhammad Ali Raza and welcome to my youtube channel marketing chamber today I am going to discuss with you a static coupon code so I am uh, talking with you static so basically there are two types of coupons first uh, one is uh, static coupon code and second is a uh, dynamic coupon code so static coupon code is created in Shopify and the coupon you create in Clavio that is called dynamic so what is the static and dynamic so basically static coupon code can be used by anyone okay but dynamic coupon that you will build in Clavio and that will be unique to only one subscriber okay so these things you will uh, experience when you will use it so there are other uh, differences also you can check them out but basically i want to focus on a static coupon code so uh, let's start so i have opened a sh uh, shopify store so from here you will go to the next side uh, options so i will click on discount so i have already uh, selected so i will click on create discount so there are two types of discount one is the automatic discount and one is the discount code so in, in this video i will mainly discuss this one but this option is also same okay so just their application is uh, a little bit different so what is automatic discount as its name also uh, showing that customers will get a discount automatically in their card so means when you will create this discount so your subscriber your customer will get the coupon uh, automatically added to their card when they will add product to their card but depend on that for which products you have offered the coupon so uh, let me uh, go through uh, this uh, uh, field so here you will write the title the types that what you want to give offer fixed amount buy one this one percentage so here uh, free shipping is not included but the option that i will discuss there if shipping will be included so here you will give the discount value and applies to for which products you want to apply this coupon like for our product products for a specific collection or for specific products so here you will uh, write the minimum amounts like how much uh, <clears throat> amount you will set that if someone purchase that amount then he will get the coupon so from here you will get uh, set the active dates like active date and you can set the end date also so basically uh, these were the options for automatic coupon uh, but i uh, want to discuss with you uh, other options so that uh, customers will get a discount if they enter a code at checkout and here are other options also uh, and that were in automatic discounts so i will click on it so here uh, you uh, can see that discount code so here you have to uh, set the discount code name like suppose i give it uh, practice 10 okay so next in types there are four options what are these options so first is the percentage like how much percentage you are offering for your products or for a specific collection or whatever it is so suppose i have select the percentage and i give it name uh, perspective 10 so i uh, want that i i am offering 10 percent off on all products 10 percent off applies to on all products okay so uh, then there is another option fixed amount like if i am offering any fixed amount whatever the price is so suppose i have given the name practice 10 so i am offering 10 percent uh, 10 dollar off on any price of the product okay so what is the next option free shipping so here are the two conditions first is the countries and next is the shipping rate so uh, if you are offering free shipping to all the countries so okay so then you will uh, select it so if you want to uh, offer the uh, like uh, free shipping to the domestic country like in this case uh, portugal uh, or you can select the rest of the world also so uh, i am selecting this option all countries and shipping rate if someone uh, purchase from our store hundred dollar so then he will get free shipping hope you got my point okay 
so this is the option same as uh, you can also check it out minimum quantity minimum purchase amount so quantity product which one is so here same add discount value of what you are offering percentage are free set the maximum number of users uh, per order so uh, in this way you can check all the amounts so i am focusing on uh, the percentage option in this video so uh, i have done the value and applies to so for which products you want to apply this code this coupon so if you want to select all the products so then it is selected so if you want to select some specific collection so then you will click on it and from here you will see the collections of your store so you can select any one of uh, uh, these collection or whatever you want for your case so specific products so from here you will see all the products and you can search from here whichever products you uh, want to uh, like offer discount so you can select from here so but i am offering for all the products so i have selected so minimum requirements how much minimum requirement you want from your uh, customers like if someone uh, purchase uh, minimum amount so then he will get a uh, minimum minimum quantity of items so uh, then he will get or uh, she will get discount so uh, then i will click on a uh, minimum purchase amount so from here uh, you will select a minimum purchase amount like suppose i want that if someone uh, buy from us of a minimum 40 dollar so then he will get this coupon the this uh, code this offer okay so if i click on minimum quantity of items so suppose that if someone uh, purchase from us a uh, minimum one item sorry uh, minimum uh, two items or one atom so whatever the case uh, you are having so you can select according to your uh, like requirement and need but i am selecting this option none so i am uh, just uh, uh, dealing this video in a real man so that uh, i don't want to complex it so but you can uh, check the other options also so i have given you the idea so customer eligibility so who are the customers eligible for this code either everyone a specific group of customers or specific customers so when i will click on specific group of customers so you will see uh, these lists like if i uh, if you want to specify if you want to give the offer to those who have left the checkout who have left who are abundant checkouts or who have given the email at checkout either you want to the subscribers either you want to the new one either you want to the returning uh, customers so whatever the case so you can check them out so but uh, here the question is uh, from here where these lists are uh, showing here so basically when you will click on customers so uh, i can uh, duplicate it so that i don't want to leave it because i have done many options so uh, from here you will click on customers so uh, here you can see these are the four uh, list options okay so a uh, new one returning abundant checkout email subscribers so if you click on specific customer so then uh, you will uh, uh, browse it and there you will see the customers that have fulfilled order so you can specify from them so i will click on everyone in this case so usage limit so uh, we use this option limit to one use per customer like one customer should use it once so he should not be able to use it again and again okay so here you are seeing the summary that whatever the condition you are setting okay and here is the prof uh, performance like it is not active yet so when we will save it so it will be uh, active so here are the active dates like when you want to activate when you want to end it so uh, you can specify that uh, date like if you are uh, about to send the campaign uh, right now so then you can set it accordingly or if you are uh, eager if you are going to start the campaign next week so then you can click on start date next week and start uh, end date you can also set but i don't uh, send end date uh, you can uh, send uh, you can set end date uh, uh, accordingly okay so uh, if you don't send end date so you can analyze the results and you can uh, analyze that how much coupon are using up so then uh, you can uh, uh, disable it whenever you uh, feel it's uh, easy or you will uh, feel better 
five US dollar. Okay, so everything I have done. So I will click on save discount code. So the coupon is created. So I will go to the campaign Clavio. I will create campaign and create campaign. Okay, so uh, then uh, after clicking on it, uh, I will write it uh, like uh, sorry practice 10 and here is my channel name so if you don't have subscribe my channel so kindly do subscribe you will get a very uh, important stuff here so just stay connected okay and uh, you can uh, click on the bell icon so that you get the notification whenever i upload uh, important stuff regarding the email marketing uh, and clavio so here i can write uh coupon 10 okay so i will click on drag and drop so after clicking on it i will select any uh by default template because our main focus is to show that how to make strategic coupon code and how we can uh, add them in our campaign in our uh, email okay so suppose this is the email so i will add text block here and i will write use code i can write uh, on checkout okay so then i will uh, where is the code here is the code i will copy it and i will paste it okay so yes and just wait okay so this is the coupon code created okay so i want to add the products just to show you that how uh, it will work okay so uh, save so after uh, it i will click on save content and let me open my gmail before so that we could save time so continue to review okay so i will click on this and yes so uh, after that i will go down so here is the error it is because there may be a, some text block that i have not added it properly and uh, so that's why so then i will click on send now okay and i will show you uh, that how it will uh, looks uh, when uh, we will get uh, email in our inbox and then i will show you that how the coupon will be applied to store okay so i will fresh it uh, so that uh, email could fall in my inbox so yes here i will click on extreme point okay so from here i will go down so this is the code uh, where it is yes practice 10 okay so i will click on this uh, product okay and i will be redacted here so then i will click on uh, like buy it now okay so after clicking on it i will uh, copy this code and i will uh, use it here and i will click on apply so it was uh, 5.68 before applying so now it is uh, reduced by 0 0.56 so it is now 5.12 so uh, it is applied so in this way uh, you can uh, apply uh, coupon uh, codes by creating in uh, shopify okay so if you find some good thing from this video and if you don't have subscribed my channel so kindly do subscribe stay tuned and stay happy thank you